Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar on a Shell, and today it is time that I go over my March kit lineup with you all. I have a little bit of everyone. I have Sadie stickers, Letters to Apollo, Glam Planner. Um, the last two shops are no longer open. I apologize for that. Two Little Bees and Christine Paper Studio, and I'll explain these two in just a bit. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do these in order. If you did not get a chance to see my latest video, it's where I took the time and went through my albums to pick out the kits that I wanted to use for March, April, and May. And then probably sometime in May, I will do the same thing for June, July, and August. And then again for the fall season. And that really helped me. I, I think I started doing this in the fall of last year. And I really, I, I really like that. So that way I had an opportunity to see, you know, what I really needed to use, especially kits that are much older, two years and older, and then leaving some space for some new kits. Cause let's be honest, fall is my jam as far as kits and holidays. So those, I know I wanna leave some room of getting at least one or two kits. But anywho, let's go ahead and start get started and talk about my lineup for March. So first up, it is Sadie Stickers. And this was her March 22 mystery kit. Um, so here are the full boxes. This is in gold. And then you have some labels here at the bottom. And this format, of course, has changed since, you know, since now. So um, different boxes. And then you have some headers, some habit trackers, different labels and layering pieces and then the check boxes heart check boxes and I don't think she has these in her newest her newest layout and then the bottom washi date covers and then some more labels and some more headers and then at this time you can see that this is older and then she she used to have like these quarter type sheets where she had like these boxes here and then she had another page with some of these pieces here and so at this point she combined it the page so which made total sense and then we get a full sheet of florals and then back to the beginning so that is Sadie stickers and this was the March 22 mystery we are now in 24 Okay, I believe this was a grab bag from Letters to Apollo or a mystery grab bag where you didn't know what you were gonna get. So I was supposed to use this last year and I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna use it this year. This is from Letters to Apollo and it is called Lucky. So this will be the week of St. Patrick's Day. I don't celebrate since St. Patrick's Day per se, but you know, if I got a cute little kit, I'm gonna use it in my planner. So then we have the full boxes in gold, and then you have some labels here at the bottom. And then you have the confetti uh, headers, confetti dots, and then the little check boxes are in the four leaf clover, habit tracker, um, date covers, and then your labels. I know her kit has changed as well. And then the bottom washi, bottom washi, which is actually pretty cool. Some flags, a few icons, and then a few headers, which I will probably use those in my sidebar. Okay, so that is Lucky, and that's going to be the second week. And then next up, we have Glam Planner. This was a mystery as well. I was not subscribed to this. I picked this up when she does her... Um, Oh, I forget the name of it, but she brings back like mysteries and all that stuff and you get to get them at a good price. So this is the ultimate kit and it is called cleaning, cleaning spree. And it's just really, really pretty. I plan on getting some spring cleaning done between now and well, March and April. So I thought this kit was perfect. And again, I just love this kit. I love this sink here. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, how it just sits on top of the the counter. I really, really like that. 
I love that sink. It's really pretty. Making your little spring cleaning list, which I still need to do. I did print out a, uh, a printout for spring cleaning just to kind of give me some ideas. I'm in an apartment right now, so I don't have a lot, but I want to do like baseboards and on top of the refrigerator and ceiling fans and things like that. So I definitely want to make a list of things that I want to get done. Anywho, you have your full boxes. And then you have your full box, your heart check, I can't talk. Your heart check boxes, the full boxes anyway. And then you have labels, two more additional um, full boxes. More labels. And then sidebar goodies, some deco, weekend banner, and then icons. And then more labels, washi strips, and then plain washi strips, and you, or you can even use those as labels if you want. Sideboard headers, glitter headers, bottom washi, and then the fashion girls, and then you get a double box. I never really use the double box, but I was just thinking if there's like during this time, if there's like a, a few days, like days back to back where I really didn't do a whole lot, then this would be perfect to take up that space. And then you have additional labels. And then the one thing I don't care for when it comes to glam planners, um, foil bundles is that they look like this. I'm not a big fan, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan. So, you have to really pay attention because, see this is how it's gonna lay, you really, I don't know if you can tell, but that's how it would lay. I may use it, I don't know, we'll see. And then, I got a, I think this is for the extra boxes. I think this is for the double box. Yeah, I think this is for the double box. Yeah, it is. This is the double box. And then uh, this is for the, the additional boxes. And I'm thinking that's a fashion girl. Let's see here. Yeah, I think this is the fashion girl. Yeah, it is for that's for the fashion girl. So that's how that goes. Again, not a big fan, but I may use it. We shall see. And so that is cleaning spray from Glam Planner. And this would be the third week. And then the last weekend, I believe, is the last Sunday, which is, I think, the first going into that week is Easter. So as I was going through my kits, I came across these pages. And these were in grab bags. That's the only thing I really don't care for of grab bags is that they may give you just this one sheet which to me, I'm like, what can you do with that? Or they'll give you pieces like this. So I realized that I did not have a Easter themed type kit. And I think I chose this and decided this possibly after the video was done. And so I went through and for this one, for example, I have some boxes of obviously not enough. And then I have the bottom washi date covers. And so I was like, okay, I need headers and I need boxes. And I went through my stash and I picked out some boxes and things. And I was like, you know what? I can make this work. So this one here, I believe is going to be for my A5. Again, keep in mind my A5, I, that's just pre-planning. So I'm, so I'm going to use all of this here minus a few of these boxes because I only I don't put boxes on Saturday and Sunday I just do Monday through Friday so this is going to be perfect for my a5 and then 
This one was a little bit more challenging. This is from Christine Paper Studio. I do hope she does decide to come back at some point because she did beautiful work and I found her super late. So um, I did like her, her stuff. Um, so this one here, it's not, I, I, I think the one page that I'm missing is the labels. So here are the full boxes and this is in gold. These colors are very, 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 very hard. So I, again, I took some time and went through my stash and picked out some boxes that I think kind of matched. So hopefully they do because you know, with my lighting, who knows? So here are the full boxes. And again, this one's gonna be for my, um, my memory spread. I do have headers, sidebar stuff, some flags, some check boxes, and then I do have some boxes down here, or labels rather, or not labels, you know, like the circle type stuff. And then I have a weekend banner. And then I do have the bottom washi, an additional set of headers, and the date covers. So I had quite a bit to work with here. More so is just me picking out more boxes, um, the labels for the memory spread. So that is the plan. And this is what I'm gonna be using for March. So this is gonna be the week of Easter and A5 and my, um, what's it called? My memory spread. So this would be the first week. And then the week of St. Patrick's Day. And then the third week will be spring cleaning. And then the last week will be my Easter themed type kits. Let me know in the comments which one is your fave. Are we twinning on anything? Let me know. We may not be though. And that's okay. But here you guys, here it is. Here are, here is my lineup for March. Can we believe it? It's already March. And honestly, I'm already feeling that spring weather. I'm in Texas and we're already in that spring weather, unfortunately. So, which, which is telling me we're going to have a brutal, brutal summer. But anywho, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up comment if you're not subscribed i do hope you consider joining my crazy youtube family and until next time guys i will see you in my next video and i will talk to you soon bye